USA, 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 USA. Hi there, can I get the uh, breakfast toaster with bacon? Okay. So we made our way back to the marina after our amazing private charter. And now we are hungry, so we're gonna hit up the little bar over here and they have some nice little lunch appetizers on the menu. I'm gonna try some mahi tacos, I think. Sounds pretty good. <laughs> So we're at the uh, Salty Oyster Bar at the Perry Hotel. Priscilla's eating some of the uh, mahi, mahi tacos. Mm -hmm. There's mine, there's hers, we're sharing this. Little uh, snack appetizer. Looks good, we'll find out in a it's, second. It's really good. It's really good? Mm -hmm. Let me try this. Mmm. That's good. Is that good? It's good. Mahi Mahi. Brian and Priscilla approved. Mm. Yep, Priscilla and I are at the other pool right now, the one where that does not have the uh, hotel bar. So therefore, literally, we're the only ones here. Just her chilling out on the lounge chair. <laughs> and me swimming in the pool, taking advantage, doing some jumps which probably at the other pool would be slightly frowned upon because of all the people laying out, <laughs> drinking. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so we're just gonna enjoy having our own private pool for the day. currently waiting for a chicken to cross the road. Oh, is he going back? Is he going back? Is he going back? Uh, We're gonna go around him. Thanks, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on Duval Street. <laughs> and it's still empty. <laughs> but we're trying to find a good place to eat. So um, obviously there's tons of different options. So hopefully we find some good. What are you in the mood for? Uh, I don't know. It can be anything too fancy because we don't look like good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm still in beach clothes, so yeah, nothing too fancy. We'll find something. <laughs> so yeah, we're actually uh, dining on the second floor of a building right off of Duval Street here, and it is called Pinterest. Obviously known for crab legs and whatnot. So I ordered some oysters. So it has some lobster, a lobster roll coming. And yeah, we might order something else. And we're just gonna chill here for a little bit. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, mates. Two or one.
Pinchers Crab Shack, great food, great service. We're at the Key Lime shop. Priscilla got her Key Lime ice cream cone. That Key Lime ice cream is really good. And then I got our classic chocolate dipped Key Lime pie on a stick. Look at that. Oh. You have to. You have to bite it. Oh, I forgot this taste. That's really good. I remember the first time I tried this, I had the same reaction. Yeah. It's so good. Leaving Duval Street. Um, we walked around for a little bit after we had the ice cream. Uh, yeah, not really too much going on. A bunch of places are actually open down here, just very little tourist. So I think we're just going to drive around a hot minute, but probably eventually um, head back to the boat soon, back to the marina. All right, we are back at the boat, and as soon as we got back, Priscilla... I'm here. <laughs> ...is already laying down, can barely see her down there. Are you comfy? Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's nice and frosty cold in here. So yeah, like I said before, this air conditioner really does crank out the AC. So of course, place is a mess right now, but we check out in the morning. Um, <laughs> Obviously, when we do check out, uh, we'll clean everything up. But we're probably get, I'm gonna try to wake up super early, and we'll finally maybe go kayaking bright and early as long as Priscilla's feeling well. If not, it might just me going solo. Um, and at least we'll have maybe one more adventure before our Airbnb boat experience in Key West ends. All right, so you guys probably can't see me too well right now. I'm literally by a light, but look at this storm behind me. For lack of a better word, it's absolutely electrical. So I'm gonna show you guys some crazy uh, long exposure photography I just took of this lightning storm over the marina. It's absolutely crazy as well as some uh, slow motion shots I took as well. Check it out. So, today is the final day. We are checking out of our Airbnb boat at 11 a.m. And haven't had a chance yet to uh, test out the kayaks. So, got up early. It's currently uh, 7 a.m. And I'm kayaking. Forgot 
how tiring <laughs> kayaking is. It's a good workout. For sure. This old rustic boat next to me. It's pretty cool. Just chilling out here. Probably a nice home for some fish underwater. Park the boat right here. Luckily I'm wearing tennis shoes and I'm going to slowly and carefully, because this is kind of sketchy, walk up this old abandoned boat. But this staircase seems... Oh wow. It seems pretty sturdy still. Here's the top. Obviously all rusted out. So you gotta be careful where you step. Should be cool if you can... Um, so now I'm actually standing on this sucker. It'd be cool if you can actually see some fish from up here because you do have like a nice little overhead view of everything. get back yep kayak still there that's good <laughs> almost forgot about it for a second Probably the number one most important thing about renting out this Airbnb boat is this right here. I've already talked about this before. This is the AC unit blasting out of this vent. I just loaded the car up with our bags and even just the walk back and forth up the dock. I mean, it's like 90 something degrees outside and that heat just barrels down on you. And coming into a nice air-conditioned boat in Florida, whether or an air-conditioned hotel room, your house, anything, feels so good, and it's so nice to cool off. Something we didn't have in the last Airbnb boat in Miami. Completely different experience, but this is on the list of one through 10 for importance. I'd say this is number one. <laughs> Another important thing, um, we actually brought a cooler filled with ice and drinks and snacks and food with us the entire time. Um, because of COVID, I would say not everything at this marina is open, not all the restaurants right now. Um, so it was nice just having options of food on the boat the entire time. They do have a microwave, they have a little cooktop and a refrigerator here. I checked the refrigerator, it's cool, but not like freezing cold. So if you want that fresh ice cold drink, I'd say just bring your own cooler and ice and you can fit way more in there anyways. Um, and the Marina Village itself, you know, that's what definitely sells this boat. You're not just on some random boat at some random marina. This is a nice marina, wouldn't you say so? Yeah, it is really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's yachts all over the place. I mean, some of these people have a lot of money. It makes you feel really poor. Yeah, there's a giant one behind us on the first night, and I'm pretty sure they're from Great Britain because they're flying the flag. And that boat, or ship I should say, can definitely sail across the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. It's like um, a mini cruise ship. Yeah, it was a mini cruise ship. They look like a mini carnival cruise ship, yeah. for sure. Um, anyways, but yeah, the, the whole village, the hotel, was nice the pools were super nice and classy they have little like private cabanas you can even rent out yeah. there um it was nice with the palm trees overhead too because even if you're laying out you can pick a spot in the shade and in the hot florida summer sun it wasn't that bad 
the pool temperature was like 86 degrees or more. It was pretty warm it for a pool. It was good. I, um, I like it. Yeah, it was refreshing. Um, some people like cold water. I don't I hate cold water, so it was right up my alley. Um, but yeah, having all of that within just a short walking distance um, really made this Airbnb experience well worth it. The boat we stayed on, like I said, I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can check it out. It was $99 a night. Um, minimum of two nights. Minimum of two nights. Um, and you looked up the hotel pricing for the Perry Hotel, which is the hotel at the marina. How much was it a night at the hotel? Well, it would be $400 for like two nights, for like the same nights that we stayed. In yeah, yeah, hotel. yeah. So we would have paid $400 to stay at the hotel where this is $200 and it's a very unique experience, a little more private. Um, and yeah, I, I, I think it really worked out well. What did you say? Oh yeah. yeah. What was your favorite part of the whole trip? The dolphins. The dolphins. Mm -hmm, yeah. yeah, so, and that was our thing is we're saving money on the actual booking. We drove down here so we didn't have to fly. Um, we drove, we stayed at a relatively inexpensive um, Airbnb and with the money we saved we went ahead and that's what pushed us over the edge to get the nice private charter um out to see the uh coral reefs off the coast of key west so it was definitely um an awesome vacation wouldn't you say yeah. mm -hmm. so first before we go if you haven't subscribed to our channel what should they, they do subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell like the video of course that really helps us out and if you missed the first two videos of us arriving click on over and watch that or if you missed the video of us on the private charter that was one of the coolest experiences ever definitely check that video out it is absolutely amazing and anyways, I think that's all, right? Yeah, that's all. All right. Now we have to drive. Now, now. Seven uh, hours. Six, seven, six and a half hours. Six, and a half, hour, and, six half. and a half hours back to Orlando. Yeah. So mm -hmm. anyways, uh, we'll be enjoying that. And we'll see you all in the next vi video. Bye. Bye. Say bye to the boat. Bye boat. Bye boat. We'll miss you. You were a good boat. <laughs>